The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. All right, low pressure is the big talk of tonight's weather. It's also going to be the big talk of the majority of tomorrow's weather as we're going to be continuously tracking some showers, possibly even some storms through the early to mid afternoon tomorrow. Then shortly after we're going to turn breezy. We're going to turn dry just in time for the weekend. So some picture perfect conditions are on the way, but they're not here yet. We got to wait about 24 hours. Now I just uh, talked about this tornado uh, that actually tracked through um, parts of basically Virginia into Maryland into Delaware. I believe I've lost signal here on my, oh, there we go, we're back. Uh, I just talked about this tornado warning that is now into Delaware that tracked all the way from northern parts of Virginia through northern uh, parts of the DC suburbs through the city of Baltimore and then out east into Aberdeen and now it's way out here in Newcastle County, Delaware. The very same cell has tracked over 100. I would say it's probably close to 150 miles in length now and it's been continuously warmed or warned for the last basically several hours. This started just before six o'clock so uh, about almost five hours now uh, that that single cell has been building through. Now in our neck of the woods, we're mostly clear. There's no showers, no radar activity right now. Uh, the radar scan in the sky is not picking up on any precipitation at this time. In fact, we're gonna stay partly cloudy to mostly clear through the next several hours. We're not gonna see another rain shower until about five, 6 a.m. tomorrow when we start to see the effects of a cold front building in from out towards the west. Now it's the same cold front that brought some of these showers earlier in the day that brought some of the severe weather. Uh, out to our east and out to our north. That was just the warm front that's rising. Now we're going to be dealing with the cooler air that's going to be building in. So some light showers through 10 a.m. expected uh, through tomorrow. Overnight temperatures 65 uh, across parts of the NRV, 62 out in Withville, 69 for Lynchburg, Alta Vista, and South Boston and Danville, 68 for Roanoke and Lynchburg. Tomorrow afternoon does pose the threat for some severe weather, marginal risk in effect, the level one out of five. So not expecting anything too crazy, but we could see a couple of storms be strong and, and uh, possibly even be severely warned. Now, the threat is primarily east of I-81, uh, including parts of Carroll all the way out to Nelson County. So just stretching across there, parts of the Roanoke Valley included, most of Lynchburg, all of Southside and parts of the NRB. Now here is that cold front that's going to be building through once we get to about noon, that's when we could see some isolated to scattered showers start to pop up. By 3 p.m., a lot of these pushing through south side and out towards the east. Notice a little bit of residual rain left behind for parts of the mountains, possibly sneaking into parts of the highlands in the Roanoke Valley throughout your Thursday afternoon. Uh, D-Day anniversary tomorrow, 80th anniversary. Here's a look at your forecast out in Bedford. Daytime high expected to be right around 81 degrees. Notice rain chances start to fall off between the hours of 2 and 5 p.m. Afternoon high temperatures anywhere from 80 to 86 degrees tomorrow. So certainly going to be warm out there at times. Then once we get past some of the showers in the afternoon, our winds will start to increase and our conditions will start to dry out. Then windy conditions really start to ramp up on Friday as we're dealing with the backside of that front coming through. Windy conditions stay with us through Saturday, but all in all this weekend looks to be relatively dry with some moderate temperatures in the low 80s.